everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you an inexpensive way to clean your cafetera or your mocha pot. And if you don't know what a cafetera is, it's a coffee pot um, that is used to make espresso. So these are the things that I use to um, clean my cafetera. I just use um, two tablespoons of vinegar. Uh, some people use lemon juice. I use regular table salt. Um, some people um, use baking soda, and I use a simple Brillo pad with a little soap on it. That's it. Um, some people use Ajax, but I think that kind of, I don't like the, the, the way it feels afterwards, so I don't use Ajax. Um, right now, I'm going to add some water to the bowl, and um, normally I clean my cafeteria in the sink, but for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to just put the water in the bowl so you can see a little better. And you need um, a cloth. Now, you can use gloves. I prefer... Um, using gloves, but I didn't have any gloves today, so I'm just gonna do it out using gloves. So now I'm just disassembling my um, cafetera, and there are three parts. Um, so um, the first part that I'm gonna clean is the part where the coffee comes into. And um, that part has a ring um, underneath um, that I like to remove because coffee gets trapped underneath the ring. Um, so you just wanna remove that, and also there's a a filter that little filter in the center that's also removable so you can remove that also and I'm um, clean underneath that so there's two rings to the cafeteria so um, I'm adding um, my vinegar two tablespoons of vinegar and you can add more if you want and I'm just pouring as much table salt that I think I'm gonna need and um, just adding my um, brillo pad just to soften it up and wet it a little and now I'm gonna just start scrubbing the um, Cafeteria. Now, I don't scrub all around in different directions. I just, when I scrub with my Brillo pad, I just scrub in one direction. And that's so that it doesn't leave so many different lines all over the place and it looks crazy. So I just kind of scrub in one direction, just an up and down motion. And you just got to put a little muscle to it. And after you um, scrub all the oil, because or, that's basically what it is, is oil from like even when you're frying food, it gets, you know, it gets deposited on your cafeteria. You get dust and, and things like that. So um, that's what I'm basically scrubbing off right now. And after you scrub it, you're going to see a shine underneath. It can be restored if you have an old cafeteria. So don't lose hope, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like so far. And um, you can see a little shine on the area that I'm scrubbing. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit more and um, that's how you really want your character to look just shiny so uh, you may not get it 100% shiny but you want to try to restore it to have some more shine than what it looks like now so now we're going to start with this part right here Put it in. So I'm gonna give this a rinse in the um, sink and I'll be back. And now we're going to dry this. Make 
shows you all of the ink and stuff inside here. Has to be cleaned up, see that? Yeah, this is what you look at. All up in here is coffee, old coffee, and I, mean, I can't really get too good in here, but I'm gonna try to do my best. So these are rinsed, and I'll be back. I'm gonna pour this out. So now I'm finished cleaning my cafeteria and this is what it looks like. See how pretty and shiny it looks now? So you too can restore your cafeteria if it looks old and like it's on its last legs. Well guys, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and Reddit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. God bless.